we're back, starring Kristen and your Misha Organics. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell you now a little bit about each of the products. So these are the six main products from our line and you may wanna use one product, you may wanna use all six of the products, but I'm gonna tell you how they all work and then you can kinda of decide what resonates with you. And before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about the consciousness of at-home skincare, which is um, I do skincare treatments on people. I do a lot of holistic facelifts and things like that. But my main practice is teaching people how to be their own technician, their own esthetician, their own facial specialist. There is magic in our hands and in our connection to our body as to what our body needs that no one externally can give you. I believe really that skincare people these days should be your guide or your teacher to teach you about your skin and put into place practices that you can take home to take care of your own skin. And so I, I really would like to see the consciousness around skincare change. The cosmetic community uses lots of chemicals, lots of synthetic agents, lots of ingredients that are really toxic on the skin and a lot of the principles that I was taught in skincare, I know it was like 20 years ago, but a lot of those principles really outdated and no one has yet come in and shifted the awareness on how we want to treat our skin. So I really believe that the two most important things that you ever do for your skin is number one, always use organic. Even if you're using super simple like stuff from your kitchen, like organic oils on your face, that is more important than even if you can't afford to buy really good organic you know, uh, products that you can use as your skincare. And the second thing is that you must touch your face. It is traditionally taught that we should be really gentle and tap our faces and don't rub and you always wanna go upwards and things like that. And I don't agree with that at all. Your face is made up of the same ligaments, tendons, bones, muscles, cells, tissues as your back. And imagine if your back doesn't feel good and you go to the massage therapist and they're like, there, this look good. it's not gonna work. Your face needs touch, it needs movement, it needs pressure. You have this whole system of fluid traveling from your heart up all the way to the crown of your head and back down again. And if there's stagnation in that, that's gonna allow toxins to continue to sit in the skin. That's going to prevent you from getting new nutrition, new blood flow into the cells and into the tissues. So. Anytime you're touching your face, you wanna use a bit of pressure. And so I'm gonna teach you this really amazing routine for your skin that you're gonna do every day at home, really easy, maybe two minutes in the morning and two minutes at night. And if you never got another facial or another treatment again, and you practice this for the rest of your life, your skin would be significantly different. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with the cleanser. The cleanser that um, we have in this line is the Sangha Organic Soap. It is an authentic saponification process. And so most skincare cleansers out there are actually detergents, which is why they're very drying and damaging for the skin. And this is real soap. And what's amazing is I infuse it with all these botanicals and herbs that have high antioxidant value so that you're getting tons of antioxidants in the skin, but you're not stripping and destroying that really important protective layer that you have. I recommend that you use the soap in the evening when you get home. Mm -hmm. Say you get home at four o'clock one day and you're not going back out, Four o'clock is when you wash your face. Number one, it ensures that you get it done and you don't accidentally fall asleep with stuff on. And number two, really, you want your skin that ability to start to re-strengthen on its own. You want your outer layer of tissue to be strong, to protect you, and to be really resilient. So you wash your face with the Sangha as soon as you get home, and that's when you do your first mini treatment. So when you wash your face, use some pressure. You know, typically the way I do it is I'm kind of making like a sudsy action all over my face, but I make sure that I'm really getting some pressure mm -hmm. and I kind of get my ears a little bit too and really start to create some blood flow. Mm -hmm. So clean your face if girls are wearing makeup and maybe they have a lot of makeup on that day so it takes two times to wash your face, get your skin clean. All that stuff that's out there in the environment, pollution, smog, mm -hmm. you know, toxins, things like that, get that off your face. So that's that's the, really the only time of day that you want to wash your face. And people ask me a lot, I have really oily skin, I get, you know, I'm greasy in the morning, I have acne, I have to keep my face cleaner. I guarantee, I have yet to have anyone that this does not work for, if you start following a program where you're using good things on your skin and get rid of any pesticides, get rid of um, any synthetic, and you follow this process where you start taking care of your own skin, that will shift in usually less than 30 days. Mm -hmm. 
Most people like in three or four days. It's completely different. So wash your face just in the evening. And then my favorite routine is I use the Nectar of Life as my evening serum. So the Nectar of Life is the most luxurious of all the serums that I make. And so the Nectar of Life is all of the botanicals and like all of these flowers that only kings and queens used to get to use like back in the day. So like Helichrysum is this beautiful flower that they used to make tea out of and only kings and queens could drink it because they said it gave immortality. Chrysanthemum is the flower of life in China. Baobab is the tree of life in Africa. And it, I mean, it's just like all of the most lux luxurious plants that I could find that work together. We created the Nectar of Life Serum. And so what you do is you put a little in your hands and then this is where you're gonna start your face massage. And you can do this in two minutes flat and this is gonna be amazing. So I always start in this area here. So this area is your liver meridian. So I do really nice massage on my liver meridian. It's gonna stimulate the liver. So those channels are gonna get activated just from this. And I'm creating pressure. Like when I'm done, you're gonna see that I start to get red. I'm feeling already a little bit of, of flush in this area. So I work on the liver meridian. This is your gallbladder meridian. What's so amazing about the body is this is also one of the thinnest muscles in your whole body. More toxins sit behind a thin muscle. And so think about this as your liver meridian, which deals with toxicity, and you have to more toxins storing in this area of your face. So you really massage up and down. I do circular. That whole thing where you can only go upwards on your face, I don't agree with. You want to move that lymph down too. So you start massaging this area. I like to do circular motions here. If you feel some pain when you're doing this or some pressure, that means that you probably have some stagnation and you probably have some tension that you want to work out. So then I kind of get right under the eyebrows. Seriously, it feels so good. Right under the eyes is the kidney meridian. So I get that whole area. You want it, you want to really help move all that fluid. And then you get into the sinuses. You can feel like especially in the south, you have a lot of pressure there. So you want to just open up this area and feel so like already I'm feeling tons of blood flow. So really start working, following the lines of the bone can be a really good movement for you to follow. The jaw, a lot of tension in the jaw for people. So I'll just like really get in this area. It's sore even for me and I do this all the time. So you really want to start working out facial tension. Any of that tight fascia is going to pull lines and wrinkles into your face and pull everything down. And typically as we get older, kids start, they move their face. They make all these crazy faces all day, all these expressions. And so all their muscles are getting a great workout, which as we get older, what I notice is people tend to make the same faces. And so they're getting some muscles that are overactive and some muscles that are atrophying and getting too weak. So you want to really um, allow the muscles to stay, you know, like really long in certain areas so that you can get that nice lift. So I work on the whole face. If you have lines anywhere, like if you have lines above your lip, really massage that area. Lines are telling you that something isn't healthy. So if you just keep burning it off with chemicals, it's not really going to help you. But if you get into that area and you start putting healing energy, into that area, it makes a huge difference. These nasal labial folds, which are attached to the lung and the large intestine, really moving this area. And then, I make sure that I go down my neck. I get under here too, going down the neck, into my chest. And now, this is your thymus gland, which is connected to your immune system. And obviously, our skin is part of our immune system. So it's really important activating the thymus gland is really amazing for the skin. It's also connected to, you know, all of this blood and the lymph that's right in this area above the heart. So activating the thymus, getting into the ears, also connected to the whole body. So, you know, we're working on these amazing meridians when we're working on the face. So we can include that when we get into the ears. And then right up into the scalp. Oh, yeah. I can make a face as many as I love this part. So get your scalp right. So everything that's going from your heart to your face has got to get up to the scalp too and then head back down. So you want to activate this area too. Feels so good. Yes, and that's it. Like I feel warm right now and I feel blood flow and I probably look a little bit red. And that is what you wanna look for. That means you did what you're supposed to do with your face for that day. Mm. So you can do that really just by putting your, your serum on. And so that's your nighttime routine. Like I said, it takes like two minutes. It's super easy. 
So that's the Sangha Organic Soap and the Nectar of Life. And then, you know, you can read through like some of the amazing ingredients here and you know, you can see that everything just from Mother Earth, that's what we're looking for. So then in the morning when I wake up, I use the Sun Love. So the Sun Love is really awesome. This is my alternative to sunscreen because I believe that the consciousness around the sun also has some space to shift. So I don't make any sunscreens. The Sun Love uses all of the plants that only bloom during the day. So they're specifically connected to that solar energy, that solar chi for their, for their survival. And so what's really beautiful is that that plant intelligence can transfer from the product on a cellular level to us too. And then we also can start to receive more energy from the sun. So that pranic energy is allowed to create more life force and more vitality. A lot of these plants also naturally have their own SPF factors. So I think that they use their own ability to have some protection from the sun and they use the energy from the sun in such a really beautiful way so that they're able to create all that life force and that energy from the solar energy. And so what's really important too um, when you're using any of the products, if you notice that on the top of all of the products, there is a specific mantra and that's the mantra that we've infused into the product so as you're working on your face if you really want to do an energy treatment on yourself you can start to repeat the mantra to yourself each day and that starts to change on a cellular level my face still feels like red and amazing and activated <laughs> i love it i don't usually notice it because i usually do it and then i'm taking care of my kid or something <laughs> so that's all you need to do in the morning. It's easy. You don't need to wash your face again in the morning. So then you just use the sun lap. Mm -hmm. So now next we have the creams. So this is uh, the Dragon's Breath and the O2 Squared, which is my version of an at-home facial. Mm -hmm. And you're going to use this two times per week to start off. And then you'll regulate based on how your skin is doing. You may find after five weeks that you brown spots, large pores, small lines, all that stuff is really like pretty much going quickly. So if you wanna go down to a week, once a week you can. If you wanna go down even to once a month, once your skin is really clean, you can use this based on you know how it resonates with you as far as like a time frame. So this is awesome. It's black. And this is the, you've seen all the videos that we do yes. where we do our dragon's breath masks okay. with all the girls. Okay. So this is not a mask, so that it's a little tricky and you gotta be careful when you put it on, you're gonna put on a very thin, 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 light gray coat. It stays on your face for 45 minutes and over the course of the 45 minutes, it gets really sticky. It doesn't harden. So if it's getting really sticky and then you're trying to take it off later, it could be like you're scraping dart off. So use the dragon's breath, a very thin layer all over the face. I like to do my neck and chest too because you want to really keep this area vibrant and healthy. You leave it on for 45 minutes and over the course of 45 minutes, it's pulling all the positively charged particles to the surface of the skin, which is where the toxins stick. So it's pulling it to the surface. You wash it off of your face and then when you're done, you're going to do a, a five minute massage. So that little massage that I just taught you, we did like a minute or two, stretch that out and create a little more intention, you're gonna do a five minute massage with the O2 squared. The O2 squared is an oxygenator, but it's not like the typical, like we're putting oxygen on the skin. This is actually an amazing complex of different roots and mushrooms that create more adenosine triphosphate in the cells. And so ATP is basically what's creating that energy, that life force, that release. And so it's what normally turns oxygen, it converts oxygen into energy. So we're really not trying to create oxygen on the skin, we're trying to create the byproduct of that, which is energy. So we're energizing the cells with the O2 squared. And then there's all these amazing fruits in there that have such a beautiful high antioxidant capability. So if you do this twice a week, this is giving yourself a facial. It will tighten the pores because it'll pull all those toxins out of the pores. It works on hyperpigmentation, it works on fine lines, it creates more glow to the skin. And when all those toxins are out of the way, that normal flow of oil that sometimes gets messed up for people so they can either be dry or that sticky oily, all that is gone. Because remember I was saying that skin is an oily organ and you need oil for that flow to that channel to be open. But once all those toxins are out of the way, that channel of oil can move properly again. So that makes a huge difference and that is so fun. So, and then I like everybody when they do their dragon's breath to take pictures and send it to me. <laughs> I'll be posting them on my page. Everyone doing their dragon's breath <laughs> yeah. party. And so the last one that we have is the elasticity and the elasticity is so awesome. 
So the Elastice C is a vitamin C complex that I make. And vitamin C traditionally are extracts of vitamin C, like you'll see ester C out mm -hmm. there quite often. And my concept in skincare is that when you use, uh, when you want to create vitamin C, you use the whole food complex to achieve that. It allows more bioavailability to be created so that your body knows how to work with the specific nutrients. And I do it without using any synthetic vitamin C. I use all these amazing plants and fruits that create vitamin C. So like amla, huge, mm -hmm. huge amount of vitamin C. Acerola, kamu kamu, goji berries, blackberry leaf, mm -hmm. strawberry leaf, sea buckthorn. And it makes this amazing, beautiful red color, which I love because a lot of my friends have come to me like, I want to get off makeup. I want to start using makeup every day. So this is cool. I don't think we can even see it in the video. It's dark. It doesn't leave your skin red, but it leaves a beautiful glow all over your skin. And so that, I have found that uh, quite a few of my friends have been able to stop wearing makeup if they use this during the day because what it does is it gives them what they were looking for. It's just like a little more energy and it kind of tones everything down on the skin. So that is really important too because approximately in around age 30 we stop producing a pretty dramatic amount of collagen so uh, we know that vitamin C is really important to create more collagen which is a structural protein that keeps the skin very firm and very lifted and very supple so you can play around with everything as you like um, you can try the dragon's breath and ocho square before you go out for a party definitely your skin will glow before that and you know enjoy the products and one thing that I think is really important too you know I said make sure you're only using organic products on your skin make sure you're touching your face twice a day but also learn to read about ingredients you know so I have some other videos that I do where you know I read through ingredients lists from some common products and I show you how to pick things out that are synthetic you can check them on the EWG database and see what their toxicity level is if you look at a product, like if you read through all my products, everything comes from a plant. Everything comes from Mother Earth. And that's what you really want to look for to create vitality on this, in the skin. And also to be connecting with that life force energy. Things that are created in a lab don't have that vitality. When you want to create vitality in the skin, you want to feed and nurture your skin with things that have high life force. So enjoy your products. Um, send me pictures of Yay. you doing the dragon's breath and Jamie too. I will. I will. <laughs> And uh, thank yeah, thank thanks so much for hanging out and chatting about the products. Oh, and thank you for making these amazing products that are going to be really healthy. I can't thank you enough. You're thank so you. Welcome. And the other big thing that I, you know, that I want to say that's really out there right now is animal testing is a huge thing yeah. that's going on in the cosmetic world, and that is not okay. Mm. You know, so like obviously we don't do any animal testing. Um, I test on my friends. <laughs> so um, we want to make sure that anything that we're purchasing mm -hmm. is not going to, you know, any kind of torturous treatment of, you know, the animal beings on our planet. And, and we want to just, you know, if these aren't the products that you decide that you want to use, I tell people, make sure that whatever you're using isn't impacting the environment in that way that someone is suffering mm -hmm. for it. Absolutely ethical and sustainable. Yes. Thank you. Okay, Thank awesome. you, everyone. <laughs> Have a great day. Have a great day.